Hello, in this tutorial, we will see a servlet program for finding the factorial of a number using a recursive function. We will define a recursive function inside the servlet class for finding the factorial of a number. So we have a client side as an HTML page. In the HTML page, we design a form. The form will consist of a text box for accepting the number. The name of the text box is T1 and there is a submit button. In the form, we have mentioned the method as post. So we write the logic for servlet program inside do post method. And the action, we mentioned the URL pattern for factorial class, which is find fact. We write the logic to accept the value from the client text box T1 and calculating the factorial inside do post method. The logic is written inside a try catch block. First out object print writer object out is created by calling response dot get writer. And we accept the value of the text box by using request dot get parameter function, which will return the value from the text box T1 in the form of string. And we convert that into integer by using integer parsint and store into a variable n. Now we need to calculate the factorial of n. So for that, we are going to call a function, a recursive function. Now we need to check whether the value of n is less than zero. If it is less than zero, we can't, we can't be able to calculate the factorial for a negative number, so we display invalid entry message else if the number n is greater or equal to zero we find the n factorial by calling a function the return value from the function is stored in a variable f and the function name is fact we have to define the function fact. We have not yet defined the functions. We are calling the function which is named as fact and we pass the parameter as n. The function fact will return the factorial of n and we store into a variable f. Now by using out.println, we display the value of n and f. We also display some HTML tags, br tag and h5 heading tag. And we display the first value of n. And after that, we display the value of f, which is f is a factorial of n. Now, in this program, we have to define the fact function. We call the function fact, but we have not yet defined the function fact, which will calculate the factorial of a number. In the catch block, we have written the error message. We have printed the error message by using out.println. And in the finally block, we create a hyperlink to go back to the home page. So anchor tag is used to create a hyperlink to go back to the home page. Now we are defining the function for calculating the factorial. The name of the function is fact. We have written private because it need to be accessed only inside that class. So we mentioned the access specifier as private and the return data type of the fact function is long because after factorial, the number will become larger number. So we mentioned the data type is long. It takes the parameter n. If the value of n is zero, we return one because zero factorial is one. Else we return n into factorial of n minus one. So that statement makes the function as a recursive function where the fact function will get called again and again till we get the number n, n minus one till the last. So all the till the one, zero factorial is one. So it will find out the n factorial by recursively multiplying the value of n, n minus one, n minus two till one. Execute and see the program output.
we can change the HTML tags which are used for formatting purpose inside our dot print element.